Alistair is one of my favorite characters in Hasman Hotel, and one that has a lot of mystery to him. So today, I think we should sit down and talk about everything we know about Alistair, as well as try to solve some of those mysteries, including theorizing why he may really be trying to help Charlie with her happy hotel plan. My name is Deep Cut, welcome back to Cartoon Universe, and we're racing our way to 400,000 subscribers, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button so we can get there even faster. Alistair is one of the most powerful demons in Hell, something that is a bit odd because according to people working on the show, he doesn't actually crave power. One interesting thing fans have noticed is that he and Charlie both seem to have actual magic, as opposed to the other demons who seem to be made up of magic and have magical qualities, but don't seem to be able to do magical things at will the way that Alistair and Charlie can. We can see Alistair giving hints of this energy in every single shot, from his shadow moving early on in the pilot, to him being able to distort reality seemingly at will later on, and of course how he simply snapped his fingers to summon some monster to defeat Serpentia. Charlie herself shows this through the use of fireworks she is able to send off with a flick of her wrist early on in the pilot. According to Vivzipop, these two, among other powerful characters such as other overlords, have access to a demonic magic powered by something that Vivzipop doesn't want to reveal quite yet. However, early interviews talked about Alistair dealing in souls, with the logic seemingly being that demons can trade their souls to you, and that would increase your power. While Husk seems to have agreed to work at the Hasbin Hotel in exchange for booze, many fans speculate that the booze was really just an added bonus to a debt of his soul that Husk owes Alistair. Alistair. Alistair is said to not really care about gaining power, as I said before, so it is uncertain why he has it or would make deals to get more, though just because he does not want power as a whole does not mean he doesn't mind using his power to see other people suffer, which can often be done by gaining even more power to use against them. When Alistair first manifested in Hell, it was surprising that he had already had so much power, with Vaggy explaining that he almost immediately was able to overthrow the overlords who had been ruling over Hell for centuries. This seemingly paved the way for new overlords to come in, such as the Three Vs, with more modern technology and business ideas from their respective eras. Without the old overlords there to stop them, and Alistair not trying to rule the way the other overlords do, they would have been able to rise almost as fast as Alistair did to the top of their field. Despite not knocking those overloads over before they could get to the top, Alistair seems to have an extreme hatred for Vox in particular, with the idea behind this being that Vox represents the rise of television and Alistair representing radio. Unsurprisingly, Alistair was a radio host in his earthly life, which of course inspired the radio mic he carries around and its effect on his voice in the pilot, which in turn inspired the nickname, The Radio Demon, in addition to him apparently broadcasting what he was doing to overlords and those who side with them when using his powers to topple over Hell's hierarchy. This nickname is rare in that it was assigned to him by the denizens of Hell, though he still refers to himself with his Earth-given name, Alistair, a rarity in Hell where demons generally pick their own nickname. Early accounts from the Hasman crew claim that Alistair lived in New Orleans, which explains his general demeanor and cultural references we see in the pilot. While alive, he was a successful radio host, as mentioned before, but was also a serial killer who would seemingly eat his victims. In the prequel comic showing a day in the life of Alistair, we see him turn into his full demon form, an alternative form each demon has that can be more useful when in a fight. This monstrous version of Alistair proceeds to kill another demon and then consume them. The form seems to take inspiration from modern ideas of Wendigo, a creature from Native American folklore that has come to be associated with cannibalism. Some fans believe that it is eating other people while alive that gave Alistair his power. Perhaps consuming other humans gave him some control over their souls. We do not know what the current canon take on how Alistair died is, but some early claims from live streams said he was shot by a hunter while in the woods. I personally like to imagine that he was hunting down a victim of his that had escaped him, and was shot by someone who was out hunting deer at the same time. Perhaps another reason why Alistair has that vague deer theme to him. We've got plenty more to discuss about this, of course, but really quick, I just want to remind you guys that the Hasbin Hotel pilot cast is coming here to Cartoon Universe this Saturday and Sunday for a live stream Q&A. We'll be having different cast members on each day, so make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss either of them. Both streams will be at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and I put a link in the description that will convert that to your local time zone if you need it. I'll also include a link to the Streamly website where you can purchase an autograph 
autographed print from any of your favorite voice actors from the pilot. They even have dual signature prints you can buy if you want to get one with your two favorite characters or even your favorite ship. We've got so many of the characters, including their singing voices, so go check it out, and I'll see you guys then. A lot of Alistair's magic seems to have references to voodoo, but it is currently uncertain if his powers manifest this way because Alistair lived in New Orleans, where voodoo is a unique part of their cultural history, and thus simply manifested based off of his beliefs when he went to hell, or if he actually indulged in voodoo practices himself while alive, perhaps making deals with devils before he even arrived in hell, explaining how he got such powers. Power, and his evil acts on Earth being the price he had to pay for the power he would receive in Hell. So why would this man with so much power and such an interesting history be interested in the Happy Hotel, outside of course of him simply wanting to watch its guests fail miserably as he claims to Charlie? Well, what if Alistair wants to go to heaven? This may sound crazy, but there are several possible reasons why he might want that. The first, and perhaps most humanizing, is that Alistair may want to see his mother. There are whispers from live streams claiming that we will meet her at some point in the show, but that they aren't 100% sure how they will do that yet. Vivzy Pop has said something similar about meeting Angel's family members who are currently in heaven, leading me to believe that Alistair's mom may have been a legitimately good woman who never knew her son was doing such horrifying things, and as such would have gone on to heaven, separating herself from Alistair. I would not be surprised if they revealed Alistair is supporting the Happy Hotel with the hopes that whatever they are able to accomplish, it would lead to him getting to see his mother again. I doubt that he would want to go to heaven and live the life of a redeemed sinner, he has it too good in hell after all, and he doesn't really believe redemption is possible as he says, but if they were able to even make contact with heaven to discuss the possibilities of their experiment, or even get one person in there, it could open the doors for a possible visit, even if only once, for Alistair to reconnect with his mother. It is one of the more wholesome theories, but perhaps the least likely. The second theory for why Alistair may want to get into heaven is considerably more dark, and harkens back to my hope that Alistair was shot while hunting down a victim. It could go dozens of different ways, but we know for certain Alistair was only in his 30s when he died, and with him being a serial killer, it seems likely that he died while trying to kill someone. I would not be surprised if simply throwing his power and resources into the Hasman Hotel is a way for him to perhaps get the opportunity he needs to kill the one person who got away from him, a victim who went on to heaven after surviving Alistair instead of going to hell. Again, I don't think Alistair thinks it is likely that his plan will work, but rather that he can get the entertainment he wants in watching them fail, but still have the opportunity to exploit it on the off chance they succeed, even with just being given a chance to visit heaven to discuss the future of the hotel. He might end up destroying all of their work by turning against them in order to go after his own selfish desires at this point. The third, and perhaps darkest theory I have, is that Alistair wishes to kill God himself. Vizipop and others have said that Alistair doesn't really care about becoming more powerful, as I mentioned earlier, but Alistair does seem to enjoy watching the people at the very top of their pyramid get toppled over. He has no real reason to overthrow all the overlords that we know of, he seemingly just did it for the enjoyment of it. We can see similar behaviors in the prequel comic where he enjoys just making demonic birds attack his waiter. Would it really be all that surprising that he would want to see if his powers could do anything to God himself? After decades of boredom in hell, the vague possibility may seem tempting to him. Surely he would likely fail, but dying trying to prove he could bring him down would be very tempting for someone who loves to torture people the way that Alistair does, to show them that they aren't as all-powerful or safe as they think. This may sound like a crazy thing, and I'm sure if any of these answers are on the right path, they won't be 100% correct, but it would tie in well with Alistair's origins. Before Hasbin Hotel became its own show, Alistair existed alongside other Hasbin Hotel cast members as characters in a planned zoophobia arc called Angels and Demons, one that wasn't planned out until many volumes past the original volume that we ended up getting, without others to follow, but one that Vizipop couldn't bring herself to stop drawing little comics about along the way. In these early stories, the Hasman Hotel crew were just demons who had banded together to try and stop an angel and her hunters. In one comic, Vaggie talks about how the process of becoming a demon is unfair. She acknowledges that all of the demons she knows, including herself, were pretty bad people when alive, but that many people who were just as bad or worse didn't end up becoming demons. 
Alistair, being a trickster spirit that he is, was helping the has -been crew, but had the same energy of just using them to achieve his own goals, whether it be for his own amusement or perhaps something much bigger, something like killing God. But these are just my theories so far. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss our live stream Q&A with the cast of the has -been Hotel pilot, and use the Streamly link down below in order to purchase your own autographed prints from your favorite voice actors. See you then!